Hi guys, it's Mike here again and welcome to lesson four of the Getting Starter series. In this video, we shall be having a look at how to hold the pick. Now, how you hold your pick has a dramatic effect on your playing and if held incorrectly, it can hold you back later on when you're trying to develop your technique. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so you want to hold the pick between your thumb and your first finger, okay? So if you hold your hand out like this, the pick should rest on the side of your first finger, okay? So just like that. See how it's on the side, okay? And then you place your thumb on top. Now what you'll notice is the pointy end of the pick is sticking out the side of my thumb, okay? And that's really important. The pointy end of the pick is sticking out the side of your thumb. Now some people have their first finger pointing in the same direction as the pick. You see like that? So I'll just take it away. It's pointing in the same direction. Now other people have their finger kind of curled back like this. And it makes a kind of X shape with your thumb and first finger. Now this is actually how I hold my pick. So it's a bit like kind of that kind of thing. Now it doesn't suit everyone and either method is fine. But what you really don't want to do is use more than one finger to hold the pick. So you want, to, you want to do it like that where you're using your first finger and your middle finger to hold the pick. Because later on it really does hinder your technique when you're trying to do things like uh, fret tapping and hybrid picking. And it really, to be honest, it really strains your arm when you hold the plectrum like this. So between your first finger and your thumb, just like that, okay? When it comes to choosing a pick, the size and thickness is largely a matter of personal taste. Nonetheless, the type you choose can have a significant effect on the tone of your playing. Using a small heavy gauge pick is ideal for fast solo work and riffs, whereas something thinner and more flexible is more suited to strumming. As a beginner, I recommend that you use a thin pick. When you first start to learn, you will be looking mostly at basic strumming patterns and for this, a 0.38 or 0.46 millimetre pick is ideal. Then, once you progress and move on to picking out individual notes, playing scales and riffs, you might want to move on to a higher gauge pick. All these picks are made by Jim Dunlop, but other brands are fine, it's the gauge or thickness which is important. So there you have it, everything you need to know about how to hold your pick. In the next lesson we shall be having a look at fretting hand technique, so until then, take care, bye for now.